Hello everyone. So now we'll continue with the DC shunt motor drives characteristics, right? So DC shunt motor is having a slight modification here. Uh, you see the winding is not separately excited, but it is connected in parallel. That is shunt with the armature. So whatever supply voltage is given to armature, same is available to field winding. As long as this armature voltage or supply voltage is constant, the field excitation IF is going to be constant. And so flux of this machine is also going to be constant. So the basic equation still remains same, V is equal to EB plus IERA. So back MF equation also remains similar to that of the separately excited DC motor. And uh, in short, we have the back MF equation and speed relation in the same manner as that of the separately excited DC motor. We can see that uh, speed is given by uh, these two terms. And uh, if I replace uh, this uh, uh, current by torque, so ultimately I get speed relation in terms of uh, voltage and torque, right? So if I assume voltage is constant, flux is constant. So speed versus torque relation is described by equation four. And uh, what I can say over here is uh, that uh, this uh, speed versus torque characteristics is similar to the straight line equation, uh, which is y is equal to mx plus c. So in the same manner, I can plot uh, the speed versus torque characteristics of DC shunt motor drive. And uh, this characteristics, as you can see, is a characteristics of straight line. And uh, it is having very small uh, slope m. Uh, the intercept is nothing but the uh, V by K, that is no load speed. And it is again a straight line parallel to X axis. It is good for constant speed applications. Uh, as the load varies, the speed is also not that much varying. So that is also a good part about this particular uh, thing. So now we are going to discuss about the DC series motor, right? So DC series motor, as the name suggests, is nothing but uh, the winding, field winding is connected in series with the armature circuit. So whatever is the armature current, same is flowing through the field winding. So armature current is same as field current. So in this case, the flux is not constant, but flux is uh, proportional to field current and field current is uh, nothing but armature current. Armature current is the current which is generally varying with the uh, load. So flux is not constant over here, right? So with this background, we can see that uh, DC series motor, the key factor over here is field winding connected in series and flux is, uh, is not constant, right? Now to derive its characteristics, uh, we know that torque is proportional to flux into armature current and flux is proportional to current. So torque is in, in, in fact proportional to armature current square or uh, should I say IA is nothing but uh, some constant time square root of T. So this is the relation which we will use to substitute in the speed equation. Now the speed relation which is already known to you is V divided by KB5 minus IERA divided by KB5. Flux is replaced by some K times some constant times armature current over here. So the second term armature current armature current gets cancelled out and it, it is only left out with the RA divided by KB5 kb into k1 and first term i can replace ia by some constant times square root of t right i can combine all this kb k1 uh, to a new constant k and i can say it is v divided by k root of t the second term is very small so i can say that it is neglected so v omega is approximately to v divided by k square root of t if voltage is constant in this case so I can say that speed is inversely proportional to torque. So you have a, a hyperbolic curve for, so the equation suggests that I'm going to get a speed versus torque to be a hyperbolic curve for DC series motor, right? So now let's see the characteristics of DC series motor. So this is merely not a curve. It is indicating us uh, some very important uh, aspects. You can see over here that uh, at the zero speed region, the torque is very, very high. That means the starting time where speed is uh, very low or zero, the torque produced is very, very high. So this characteristics gives uh, inverse 
it is uh, evident over here high starting torque is uh, what is the feature of this particular motor the other way around is when torque is zero speed is infinite so this is not uh, possible practically it is a damaging speed so you are supposed to take care that dc series motor is never started without any load that load should not be zero right so uh, this is also a safety precaution we are supposed to remember dc series ne motor never started without any load right and so far as uh, the applications is concerned it is good for applications where high starting torque is required like a traction application right where static friction is predominant right so this is all about the uh, basic speed versus torque characteristics of uh, dc shunt and series uh, motors we'll continue about the modified characteristics in our subsequent section